In today's video, I will teach you how to add a vignette to a photo in GIMP. Let's get started. Start by opening GIMP, then navigate to File, then Open. Then browse for the image that you want to apply the vignette effect to. Select it and click Open. Now, we're going to create a vignette layer. To do this, press Ctrl L to open the Layers dialog. Then click the New Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. In the dialog that opens, name the layer Vignette and set Layer Fill Type to Foreground Color to set the layer's color to black. Then click OK. In the Layers panel, select your new vignette layer, then set the Blend Mode to Soft Light. This mode will darken your entire image. Now we're going to add a layer mask. Right-click on the vignette layer and select Add Layer Mask. In the pop-up dialog, set Initialize Layer Mask 2 to White Full Opacity, then click Add. Now activate the Free Select tool by pressing F or by clicking the lasso icon in the toolbox. Then draw a loose selection around the main subject or center of interest in your photo. This selection doesn't need to be precise. Now press Shift B to activate the Bucket Fill tool or click its icon in the toolbox. Then make sure your foreground color is black and click inside the selection to fill it. And this action reveals the original image within the selection area. Now go to Select, then None, or simply press Shift Control A to remove the selection. Now go to Filters, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. In the dialog that appears, set the radius to around 150. This blurs the layer mask, creating a smooth transition effect. Now select the vignette layer in the layers dialog. Then use the opacity slider to reduce the layer's opacity until the vignette effect is subtle. Now avoid overdoing the effect to maintain a professional look. An opacity around 50 is often a good starting point. And once you're satisfied, you can now save your image. To do this, go to File, then Export As to save the final image. Then choose format like JPEG for general use or PNG if you need transparency. Then name your file and click Export. You can also save a version of your work as an XDF file to preserve layers and allow future edits. To do this, go to File, then Save As, then select the XDF format, then name your file, then click Save. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.